Following a growing number of teenage fentanyl overdoses nationwide, school leaders and parents are raising awareness for students with the help of the DEA, of course. Carlos Briano, the Public Information Officer for the DEA El Paso Division, is here with us today to talk about a series of meetings that they are holding with students and parents. Yes. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, it's because of some tragedies. I'm sure mm -hmm. you've heard in the news, you know, the, the national networks have been reporting on cases of teenagers uh, losing their life to uh, fentanyl poisoning. And so school districts throughout the country are are organizing and, mm -hmm. and calling DEA to come help do fentanyl awareness presentations. And El Paso, Southern New Mexico is no exception. Uh, we're gonna be doing a few all month, uh, all the major school districts in our area. And we're here to just let people know if you or a parent are concerned about all the fentanyl that's out there and you want to learn more, you want to bring your kids to listen, uh, these four meetings that we're going to be having in our area are, are a perfect opportunity. What, um, what schools are there going to be, the, these meetings? Where could people go to learn more about this? So the major school districts have reached out to us to do a one-time meeting for the whole district mm -hmm. instead of one school, which I think is, is amazing. That's a, a great way to approach it. Mm -hmm. Instead of one little school, you know, a little bit at a time, let's just bring them all at once. So uh, the first one is going to be Socorro ISD, followed by Isleta ISD, followed by El Paso ISD, and then we're gonna conclude the month with Las Cruces Public Schools. And then just why, you know, again, it's so important to teach your kids and parents about this. Why is it so important to go to these meetings? Well, DEA's mission is to maintain our communities healthy and safe. That's the goal of the schools as well, to maintain their students and their, their, their teachers, their faculty and staff healthy and safe. And this is one way that we're both combining our similar goals for the sake of our communities, the sake of their students and their parents. And so we're bringing our resources together. Uh, once they hear what we're gonna present, they can ask questions. Maybe a parent wants to know, is there Narcan available at my school? Or mm -hmm. have we seen fentanyl or fentanyl related substances in my child's school, et cetera, et cetera. What perfect, uh, there's no better time than these meetings. And they've taken uh, time out of their schedule to uh, arrange these meetings, so take advantage. If your child goes to Socorro, Isleta, El Paso, or Las Cruces schools, reach out to those districts to find out uh, more information about this meeting and when it's gonna be and where. So it's one meeting for each school district. We'll right. go ahead and put that information up okay. for you guys. But right. uh, yes, one per school right. uh, per school district, mm -hmm. and that's including Socorro, Isleta, El Paso ISD, and of course Las Cruces uh, Public right. Schools. Right, exactly. And it's going to start February 15th, then February 18th, followed by one on the 21st, and concluding with one on the 28th. And I have a feeling that those school districts are going to be okay if you decide to go to the, to the other ones. exactly uh -huh. because the information is the same and it's all about protecting our community of el paso and southern new mexico so some of them are going to be streaming them live mm -hmm. like they do their board meetings some of them will have the video on demand later uh -huh. some of them are going to share the video with all their parents but if you can come in person and be part of the q a at the end i highly recommend you do that and thank you for sharing the the info of these events uh, with your viewers. Of course, Carlos, thank you so much. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, if you want more information about those meetings, reach out to your personal school district. Like I said, it's Socorro, Isleta, El Paso, and Las Cruces, uh, and they can share that information with you. All right, Carlos, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. Of course, and we'll be right back after this break. <laughs>